A 70-year-old theory has finally been proven. Scientists have managed to create matter out of nothing. This is perhaps one of the greatest scientific breakthroughs of the century and could prove to be a revolutionary change to how we perceive the world around us. For centuries, scientists have argued over how the world around us was made. The more religious among us believed that it was the work of an entity or entities, while others believed that it was a phenomenon explained by the many theories available to us. Whatever the case, scientists have finally created matter out of nothing. Now, if you want to know what this means, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. When contemplating the cosmos as a whole, with all its planets, stars, galaxies, and everything else, one simple question demands an answer. Why is there something rather than nothing? The issue is compounded by the fact that matter and antimatter appear to be treated identically by the physical principles regulating our universe. When we look at the cosmos, however, we find that all the galaxies and stars we can see are composed entirely of matter, with almost no antimatter present at all. To explain our existence and the existence of the stars and galaxies we observe, something must have created more matter than antimatter. However, how did this come to pass? It's one of the biggest mysteries in the cosmos, but we're getting closer and closer to figuring it out. Just think about the apparent inconsistency of these two statements about the cosmos. The first is that at any energy level, every interaction between particles we have ever witnessed has always produced an equal number of antimatter particles alongside the matter particles that were formed or destroyed. The second is that everything we can see in the cosmos Stars, galaxies, gas clouds, clusters, superclusters, and the largest scale structures appears to be formed of matter, not antimatter. This seems impossible, right? On the one hand, given the particles and their interactions in the universe, we cannot create more matter than antimatter. All the visible objects, however, are unquestionably constituted of matter, not antimatter. How do we know this? There is a tremendous release of energy caused by particle-antiparticle annihilation whenever and everywhere antimatter and matter come into contact in the universe. This annihilation is seen in some places, but only near extremely powerful sources that generate equal amounts of matter and antimatter, such as huge black holes. Antimatter collides with the matter in the universe, creating gamma rays at certain frequencies. The entire absence of these gamma rays is strong evidence that there aren't substantial numbers of antimatter particles flying around any place, as the matter-antimatter signature would show up. Well, it looks like we might finally have an answer about the cosmos. A group of physicists claims to have demonstrated the possibility of made nothing, a prediction of a quantum theory that has been around for 70 years. As a side effect of an experiment meant to examine the movement of low-valence electrons, an analog of particle-antiparticle pairs was created out of thin air using just an electric field and the practically magical capabilities of the 2D substance graphene. In January, a group of researchers from the University of Manchester carried out the experiment. Conventional wisdom had suggested that this sort of thing could only happen in the extremely high-energy conditions seen near a black hole or in the core of a neutron star. The most recent advancement, though, however, was achieved with ordinary laboratory tools. There are cases in physics where new particles can be created out of thin air by manipulating existing particles. If you take a quantum particle called a meson and try to separate its quark, for instance, new particle-antiparticle pairs would spontaneously form between them out of thin air. Even so, in this case, we must first have something, a meson, in order to go on to produce other somethings. One of the pioneers of quantum electrodynamics and a winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1964, Julian Schwinger proposed in 1951 that it should be possible to create matter from empty space, even if there is nothing there to begin with, by perturbing that space with a strong enough electric field. The Schwinger effect is the common name given to this purely theoretical idea ever since. Now, a group of scientists has demonstrated the reality of this phenomenon by making something out of nothing. Nothing can be created to anyone's satisfaction in the universe we live in. Everything may be broken down into the smallest possible units, called quanta, and these quanta are the building blocks of all other things. Quarks, electrons, muons, taus, neutrinos, photons, gluons, heavy bosons W+, W-, Z0, and the Higgs, and all of their antimatter counterparts make up this list of primary particles. 
Despite the name, the empty space that is left after removing them isn't actually empty. The only thing that is left is the quantum field, the all-pervasive background energy of the cosmos. According to Schwinger's hypothesis, an area of space that is otherwise empty can generate particle-antiparticle pairs by applying an electrical field strong enough to capture some of this energy. In January, researchers at the University of Manchester were experimenting with graphene, a two-dimensional material, to study the conduction of valence electrons, or electrons from all energy levels. By reducing the number of possible paths that elementary particles like electrons can follow, this structure of 2D graphene is perfect for this experiment. If enough electrical energy is fed into the system, a nearly uniform flow of electrons should result. However, something unanticipated occurred when the researchers began conducting the studies. According to a recent press release from the University of Manchester, the researchers pumped electrons into their simulated vacuum and accelerated them to speeds up to 1 300th of the speed of light. As though defying the laws of quantum condensed matter physics, the electrons suddenly provided an electric current greater than expected. According to the proposed explanation, this impact originates from the spontaneous production of extra charge carriers, holes. As we mentioned earlier, this was an unexpected outcome. Something akin to electron-positron couples was created where there had been nothing but emptiness before. This electromagnetic field in the lab was so strong that it could make anything out of nothing. Superconductor-like current voltage characteristics, sharp peaks in differential resistance, a reversal of the Hall effect sign, and a striking anomaly generated by the Schwinger-like production of hot electron hole plasma are all hallmarks of this out-of-equilibrium state, the researchers wrote in their paper. Schwinger's projected particle-antiparticle pair turns out to be a perfect match for the plasma of the anomalous electrons and holes. Thus, the researchers accidentally confirmed the Schwinger effect, creating something out of virtually nothing, although utilizing a relatively weak electric field, at least in comparison to the heart of a black hole or a neutron star. According to Dr. Roshan Krishna, when they first saw the amazing characteristics of their super lattice devices, they thought it was superconductivity. It was quickly determined that the strange behavior did not originate in superconductivity, but rather in the realms of astrophysics and particle physics, despite the fact that the response was very similar to that commonly reported in superconductors. The Schwinger effect was responsible for that something in this circumstance. Something like this, in Dr. Kumar's opinion, is intriguing to observe. Dr. Alexei Berdugin, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Manchester, said, People normally examine electronic properties using modest electric fields that permit better analysis and theoretical description. To avoid damaging our equipment, we began to experiment with electric fields of increasing strength. Given the dangers of pushing their equipment to such extremes, Dr. Na Jin, one of the paper's co-lead authors, said this was an unexpected but gratifying response. The two of us were just wondering what could possibly go wrong at this point, Jin explained. Instead of smoke, it turned out to be the Schwinger effect, they said. The researchers point out that the energy levels of their experiments were not high enough to produce an actual electron-positron couple. However, they argue that the analog plasma hole they produced demonstrates the validity of the Schwinger effect and that, with enough energy, the matter may be generated from nothing. Therefore, it may be quite some time before food replicators or matter energy transporters become a reality due to the lack of laboratory equipment large enough to manufacture matter from nothing. The Manchester Group's tests have shown, however, that it is possible to create something from nothing. Now, there are many other things that we want to tell you guys, but this is all the time we had today, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. Oh, and before you guys leave, why don't you tell us your thoughts about creating something from nothing in the comments below? Till then, see you next time!